Dozens of reporters and photojournalists are demanding Hong Kong authorities protect their safety while working in mainland China. Two reporters from the region were beaten while they were trying to interview the wife of a jail democracy activist. Hong Kong-based reporters and photographers protested on Saturday the beating of two journalists in the mainland. They're urging Hong Kong's government and authorities in China to do more to protect the rights of reporters. The March 8th incident was caught on camera. The Hong Kong reporters were filming outside the home of Liu Xia. She's the wife of jailed Nobel Peace Prize laureate Liu Xiaobo. Beijing police claimed the reporters were blocking the way after unidentified guards violently stopped the filming. This is ridiculous. What kind of logic is that? Can they be beaten up for blocking the way? This logic is ludicrous. We hope the mainland law enforcers can treat this reporter beating seriously and bring the perpetrators to justice. Mistreatment of reporters is not new in China even though authorities had promised greater freedom to foreign journalists after the 2008 Beijing Olympics. In February, Chinese police chased CNN reporters down in their car. The crew was filming a military building that is believed to house hackers involved in recent attacks on the New York Times. Last week, a British reporter was detained by police in Beijing. Mark Stone kept the video rolling as he and his camera operator were escorted away in a police car. Stone had a permit to report, but said police stopped the recording when he made a reference to the 1989 Tiananmen democracy protests. In Stone's case, Beijing police were civil, but the same could not be said for the two Hong Kong reporters two weeks ago. The Hong Kong Journalists Association and the Hong Kong Press Photographers Association say they want the region's chief executive, Leong Changying, to formally respond to the attack.